got ghosted. Okay, yeah, definitely really awkward. I totally messed up the coffee shop that we're going to. It is so cold. What's up, Toronto? You looking for love in all the wrong places? My name is Brooke and I'm going on seven first dates, hinge dates in Toronto in seven days. So basically I've never done the whole online dating thing before. It's always been a little bit freaky to me and I've always been in a relationship, um, but I'm recently single. Hello. And <laughs> I decided it'd be fun to take you guys along with me and you guys can kind of see what the dating seems like along with me. So let's do it. Just getting ready for my first date tonight. I'm going to Lavelle with somebody uh, and I'm really, really nervous. It feels super weird to be meeting a stranger just completely online. It's kind of like, what are we gonna have to talk about? How am I actually gonna realize it's you? What do you do? Do you shake hands? Do you hug? There's also like the COVID of it all. So we're going to an outdoor patio. So I didn't really know what to wear. So I went for like a turtleneck. I have a really warm jacket with me. I got my gloves. So let's head out. Okay, so I just got back from date number one and online dating is rough. <laughs> So far, been to Lavelle, it was really nice there. Their enclosed patio basically feels indoors. It's so warm. We grabbed coffee and appetizers. The person I was seeing um, was driving, so we didn't do cocktails or anything like that. Um, definitely some interesting topics were brought up that I would consider taboo, but I also haven't been in the dating field for a long time, so I'm not really sure if that's normal, but they brought up that I looked a little bit older than they thought I was. They thought um, that my eyes were looked brown instead of blue. They weren't quite a fan of what I ordered to eat. I grabbed sushi and that was definitely not a first date food. I felt so awkward eating it the entire time. And they're like, maybe you need to cut it up. And I was like, okay, yeah. Uh, definitely really awkward. I feel like meeting somebody in real life when you've only chatted online, you can't always tell if there's gonna be chemistry or connection. Uh, so this was a pretty bad date, but I have hopes, you know, we have seven. Let's head to date number two. So I just finished up work and I just finished getting ready. Ba bow, ba bow, ba bow. Um, and now I'm gonna change into my outfit for our coffee date tonight. So I just added my favorite sweater and a pair of really thick blue jeans. Now I'm gonna add my scarf, hat, mitts, gloves, everything else so I can survive during a super cold walk. Okay, it is literally snowing so hard and I just realized I totally messed up the coffee shop that we're going to. Uh, and I have to be there in like 15 minutes and it takes me at least 25 minutes to get there. So I think I'm gonna try and call an Uber in the snow and see if I can get there on time. Okay, so he just texted me and it actually turns out that Jimmy's Coffee is closed early. So I think we're going to walk and see if we can find somewhere else to go. Okay, so I just got home and that was actually a really nice date. Uh, we tried to go to Jimmy's Coffee, but it was closed down, closed down early. So we just walked around uh, and we found a little patio to sneak into. We went and grabbed some spike cider. We just had some really nice conversation. We finished up our drinks and just like walked around in the snow in Trini Bellwoods. And I thought it was gonna be like way colder and too cold to actually do something, but it was really nice. I feel like that was kind of like your picture perfect first date, especially in lockdown. So it was just a nice quick drink, a nice walk around, great conversation. And the person I was with was really sweet too. So I feel like that was, this is a good experience. Date two went well. I just finished up work and now I'm gonna get ready for date number three. We're going out for dinner at Queen Mother Cafe. So I'm gonna do my makeup and hair now. Controversial opinion, I just don't think anything looks better than a big oversized sweater. I'm walking there now and I actually left way too early. So I'm gonna stop in Aritzia and pick up a package because it's on the way and otherwise I'd be like 30 minutes early. So they're actually closed, they're just doing takeout. So I'm gonna head over to Town Crier Pub instead. This is a four minute walk. We're gonna try and get a table there. We're back from date number three, so let's get into it. I feel like tonight we had all of like the typical COVID-19 pandemic snags. We tried to go to Queen Mother Cafe, patio was closed, another place's patio was closed. We finally ended up on Barrow's rooftop, which is really nice. It's fully enclosed, really heated. And we just grabbed some appetizers. The date itself only lasted for about an hour. And I feel like it was kind of normal. I feel like it's what I expected a first date to be like. Um, we didn't have, you know, a lot in common, but we learned about each other. We talked about each other's work. And I don't think there was a romantic spark or an interest. And I don't really know if you actually get that on a first date or if you have to keep going on dates to find that. I guess we will figure that out together. Coming to you guys live from my couch from date number four and I got ghosted. Uh, I had a feeling this would happen with at least one of the dates. So basically I made loose plans with this person about a week ago and I just kind of assumed that we would solidify details morning of because that's what I've been doing with my other dates, just texting them or them texting me. Um, and it just didn't really happen today. So instead I'm gonna spend the night 
on my couch with my kitten, probably ordering some takeout and watching Netflix, and hopefully date number five doesn't cancel on me tomorrow. Okay, I just finished up work, and I finished at like five, and we're meeting for coffee at like 5.45, and I gotta walk there. So I'm leaving the house right now. Just slightly snowing. It's not that bad. Almost there. Date number five, I actually had a really good time. And I feel like I'm learning that as an anomaly. You're gonna get a lot of bad dates and a lot of okay dates. We went over to Ideal Coffee by Ossington. We walked and chatted around there. We went over to Queen West. And I don't know, I feel like there was a natural spark and like that witty banter that I was kind of missing. Uh, so yeah, a good date. And I'm excited to see what six and seven are like. COVID-19 strikes again. This whole week, I feel like it's been a little bit of a scheduling error. And basically he shot me a text. We were confirming this morning. He was like, hey, actually I've had a COVID-19 scare. I'm waiting on some results and I'll get them Saturday mornings. So why don't we just wait until then? And so I was like, of course, let's be safe. Let's not meet up. Um, so we'll see if he texts me tomorrow. His test came back out positive. So he does have COVID-19. So we're not gonna be meeting up today. So it's just gonna be date number seven. And we're meeting at 3 p.m. We're gonna go to Jimmy's Coffee and just walk around. from the last date of the week, date number seven, and it was a really good time. I don't think there was a super strong romantic connection right away, but I had lots of fun. We grabbed some Jimmy's coffee. We walked around the U of T area and just chatted, but I'm gonna let all my thoughts marinate and sit overnight and come back tomorrow, and we'll get into all of my tips, tricks, and what I learned. My week of dating is finally over, and I ended up going on five out of my seven planned hinge dates. Once I got ghosted, which honestly kind of felt like a rite of passage in Toronto. And secondly, my <laughs> Friday night date actually ended up testing positive for COVID-19. So obviously we didn't end up meeting. But out of my five dates, I had a great time and I learned so much about online dating. And I think my main takeaway is just, you know, you can't take things too seriously. You really just have to have fun with it. Each date you're going on is basically a blind date and you have no idea how you're gonna connect with a person. And my main tips for anybody on Hinge right now, trying to find a date, Okay, number one, be frugal with your matches and know what you're looking for. Only match with people you could genuinely see yourself meeting up with. And then moving to actually having conversations in the Hinge app, keep it on Hinge, don't give people your number. You're just gonna be giving out your number to way too many people and it's gonna get confusing. So stay on the app and just message there, but don't message too much. You wanna leave stuff to actually talk about on the date and see if you have a connection before you're investing all this time into them. And when it comes to the date, I have to say, I love coffee dates. It's kind of more of a chill environment. It's less than an hour and you can leave 15 minutes in if you're really not having a good time. Make sure you're meeting somewhere public. And you know, lastly, just don't worry too much about them liking you. Worry about if you like them. I definitely feel like I felt into this trap because I was like, oh, I wanna make sure they're having a good time and enjoying themselves. But all in all, anybody dating out there in Toronto, you're gonna to have some bad dates. You're gonna have some good ones. You're gonna have some mediocre ones, but just don't get discouraged. There's so many amazing people out there. And even if you don't connect super romantically with somebody, I'm sure you still got value out of it, had a good conversation, met somebody really nice. And there's always another date around the corner. For Nar City, I'm Brooke Houghton. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our Narcity channel to see more content just like this.